The world's first Ally Baba Ruma laptop with a RISC V processor is on sale for $1,500. RISC V processors are gaining momentum and have been supported by software for some time, so it's nice to see the open source architecture being implemented in real products. The Ally Baba Roma RISC V laptop, announced back in the summer, is finally available and packs a quad core processor as well as many of the features we are used to in Intel and AMD computers. Roma is based on a computing platform known as Wujian 600, designed for cost-effective edge computing. The processor in the laptop is Ally Baba T-Head. A TH1520 Xuan TC910 quad-core processor with a clock speed of up to 2.5 GHz, an NPU with 4 tops performance, and an Imagination Technologies GPU. It can support up to 16 GB of LPDDR4 or 4X RAM at speeds of up to 4266 mount, S and has 256 GB of SSD storage. The display is a 14.1 inch panel with a 1080p resolution corresponding to a webcam. If this is not enough for the actual screen state, there is an HDMI port for connecting an external monitor. To work in the network. There is Wi-Fi 5 and an Ethernet port. There's also Bluetooth 5 for headphones and other peripherals. You can charge your laptop via the USB Type-C port, and there are also a pair of Type-A ports. The claimed battery life is 10 hours. The laptop has a special security chip, an RMSC 300 Cortex-M3 security enclave processor with trusted execution environment security certification and a computer running Ally Baba's own Linux-based open Anilis operating system. The backlit keyboard is only 20 mm thick and weighs 1.7 kg. The Roma is available as a basic package for $1,499, which comes with a more than 5-year warranty and free spare parts. There's also a premium package for $4,999 which includes extras like headphones and a smartwatch, as well as the ability to engrave your name on the laptop case. Roma is available for pre-order on Ally Baba in black or gray, and the first 100 orders should be delivered in the fourth quarter of 2022, with another 1000 arriving in the first quarter of 2023.